You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends, you notice we just sung, you notice that I am wearing white, you'll notice in a moment we're about to pray the Gloria. It is still the season of Lent, uh, but we have today one of the great solemnities that falls very often uh, in the season of Lent. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, that good and righteous man who answering the call to take Mary into his home, also took Christ into his home. And so we're going to ask St. Joseph to pray with and for us that we too may invite Christ and Mary to be in our homes. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is entrusted forever. Is established forever in heaven. You have confirmed 
your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him. And my covenant with him stands forever. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants, but he would in, that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention. When behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we have this great feast of St. Joseph, uh, and a very simple invitation is before us that I would like to extend to you, and that is to use this as a time to invite Jesus into your homes more deeply, to consecrate your homes. You may have seen uh, there are some great resources out there for uh, consecrating your home to the Sacred Heart of Jesus or to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Um, there is, of course, it's always, you know, recommended that we have uh, different, you know, at least a crucifix or two or five, um, but uh, but that we have some some visible reminders, but that we would remember by our faith and by how we live our faith in our homes. And that people coming into our homes would even have the opportunity, not have anything shoved down their throats. And granted, there probably won't be any people coming into your homes right now, perhaps. But that those who do come in would have the opportunity to see your faith. They would have the opportunity to, in your faith, to encounter Jesus Christ. Now I know. 
uh, our our home life, uh, whatever whatever our situation, vocation, state, and life, our home lives can get can get crazy and can get hectic. And and um, I don't wish to propose to anyone uh, a, a sterilized image of a of a perfectly serene and pious family life or home life of of any kind. Um, certainly we we strive to uh, to practice devotions to practice our faith in our home but that it would be incarnated in the reality of our lives that we would allow saint joseph to pray with and for us that he would show us what it means to have christ in his home you know i i love to to remember that saint joseph was a strong, big, burly carpenter who worked hard to feed and provide for his family, right? Um, and of course, we can, you know, we, we love to amuse ourselves sometimes uh, with, with the realizations of, you know, here was St. Joseph, this man who lived with uh, the eternally begotten Son of God and the Blessed Virgin Mary, right? Uh, I've often heard it said, it, at nearly every wedding, you can expect to hear either the father of the bride or the groom or other other um, uh, married men in the room uh, advising the husband. Just so you know, you know you're always you're never going to be right again. All of these all of these humorous things. When in fact, Saint Joseph was, of course, the epitome of uh, if something went wrong in the home, there really wasn't a question whose fault it was. It was Joseph's fault, right? Uh, and yet, of course, in all charity, our Lord and our Blessed Mother would not have rubbed it in or in any way uh, been unkind or disrespectful in, in that reality. But we can joke about those things. But at the same time, when we try to, um, to imagine the, the simple reality of the Holy Family lived a human life. They lived with struggles like you and I. Their struggles probably looked different. They might have been so-called shaped differently, if you will. But they lived a real human life. But in that human life, Christ was in their midst. And they sought to serve him, to love him. They adored him as every parent adores their newly born child. And yet they also smelled his diapers, right? Let us indeed ask St. Joseph to pray for all of us that we would in this strange time where we perhaps find ourselves spending more time at home maybe sometimes so much that we might start to go crazy, right? Um, that we would invite Christ into our home. That we would allow him to sanctify our home, to make our homes holy, which is not a serene, sterilized porcelain image that none of us can live up to. No, holiness only exists in reality. Holiness is when our actual lives are set apart, different from the world around us, and yet completely human in the most perfect way. Because what it means at its heart to be perfectly human is to be made for communion with God and with one another. Let's use this as a time uh, to not find new ways to distract ourselves. Let's use this as a time to rediscover what it means to be made for communion with God and with one another. St. Joseph, pray for us.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. But his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With loving confidence, Heavenly Father, we entrust all of our prayers to you, trusting in your holy will. We pray for the whole church, for Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, for all the clergy and all the faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world, for an increase in peace, justice, and respect for all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, the health and well-being of all and for an end to this problem of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all among us who may be sick, suffering, hurting in any way that they may know the consolation of Jesus Christ crucified and the hope of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the peaceful repose of Philance and Clarence Pagano, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all of those near and dear to our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With loving confidence, Heavenly Father, we entrust all of our prayers to you, trusting in your holy will, for you are good and your love endures forever. We ask all of these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, right, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable through God the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before thee. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Only history of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold. Him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come, share your master's joy. <clears throat> prayer for spiritual communion from the Emmaus Days Prayer Book. I believe that you, O Lord, are in the most holy sacrament. I love you and I desire you. Come into my heart. I embrace you. O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love, O oh Jesus, absorb my being and make me holy. Amen. And let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, 
as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praise as we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. St. Joseph, husband of Mary, pray for us. 